Welcome to another day on the Journey Shake Cam. I'm so excited today. We have an assessment, so please do those warm up questions as quickly as possible and we'll go over them so you can move on to that assessment. Number one asks for the general equations for the different types of reactions. The first one is a synthesis, where A plus B yields AB. Another one is a decomposition, where AB yields A plus B. The next one is a single displacement, and there are two equations that are required for a single displacement. Single displacement. We can either displace the positive position to form AC plus B, or we could displace the negative position where A is a non-metal and displaces the non-metal to give me BA plus C. Non-metals will replace non-metals and metals will replace not metals and oftentimes a metal can replace hydrogen because it's a positively charged particle. And the last type is a double displacement. And this is the type that we've seen with net ionic equations, where AB plus CD yields AD plus CB. And we write C first because C is positive, so it must be in the initial position. And those would be the equations, the general equations for the types of reactions that we've done. We're not very concerned about combustion at this time, although you will have to balance one and give the coefficients, but these are the basic general equations. Number two asks for the meanings of some terms, and even though there are no terms specifically on the test or the assessment, you must understand what those terms are in order to do the problems. Soluble means that it is dissolved in the liquid and is floating around as ions. They are aqueous. So your spectator ions are aqueous and they are soluble. Insoluble means that they do not float around as ions, that they form a solid and they combine together to form the precipitate. Now, moderately soluble also, for us, means insoluble. We use those terms interchangeably. Moderately soluble means some of the material does dissolve, but so, so minor amount that we basically consider it to be insoluble. So those are the three terms that you needed to understand for today's assessment. Now I know the facilitator is ready for you. Now you do that assessment to the best of your ability. And I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Bye.